Peggy 16. Infinite Crisis is kind of my dream project in that it is a world where you can take all the DC heroes you knew and love and you can see their twisted reflections, their their dark mirrors, their idealized versions, all of them on the same page. It is the most broad, open-ended set of universes in any comic universe, you know, especially since the introduction of the multiverse and the else worlds. There really are very few things that we can imagine and think of that can't be contained inside the DC universe. Jeff Johns, he's, he's a visionary and he's also a person who legitimately understands, like, hey, these are our characters. I'm going to not only trust you with them, but ask you to, to do what you need to do in order to make the best possible game that you can make. I feel like DC has become absolutely integral to just the experience of the game because without the DC multiverse, this just doesn't work. With what we're trying to do, you know, pushing the characters and telling the same character story in multiple different ways, it's all tied in really well with the existing DC setting. One of the biggest things that we bring to the table is the recognition that comes with seeing a character that you knew when you were a child. When you take these characters that are larger than life and you put them in a game, seeing Batman, seeing Wonder Woman, these characters are people that resonate with you in a way that really a lot of other characters from most other mobile games cannot. When we try to interpret a, a well-known character for uh, the game, we try to find those elements that are iconic. So when you take someone like uh, Green Lantern and his constructs, he can imagine and create anything. We can't have him do that because, well, there's a variety of reasons why that would just be a bad idea uh, for the game and, and for the feasibility of making him. So we try to find things that are, are representative of him uh, in his constructs. Uh, so he summons a giant jet and throws it at you, and that, of course, represents his sort of backstory as being that test pilot. We're always looking for ways to incorporate DC history and lore into the game in, in ways that make sense for a competitive environment. And one of the ways that I'm really... Uh, proud of and what we've done that is through the artifacts. Now these are the items that players will be uh, acquiring from the artifact foundry uh, through the match. Uh, these uh, are items that increase the uh, power of their champion so that makes them better able to deal with the threat at hand. And each of those items is an, named after an item from uh, DC history. Uh, we have Two Faces coin and we have Atlantean artifacts, things like that. And those items have a history to them. And it's the history that, in a sense, gives them their power. The multiverse is our license to do almost anything we want, and I'm really excited by it. Being able to make a alternate universe version of Superman, specifically one that DC hasn't even explicitly made yet, is very exciting.